morning everyone welcome to this video today i am going to explain the topic agriculture in chapter 1 in previous video i already explained you the topic germination of seed so today let's discuss agriculture what is agriculture agriculture is a practice of cultivating plants crops it refers to the human activity of cultivating crops plants for production of food and goods such as wheat rice pulses cotton sugarcane jute oil seed etc for our need what does agriculture means agri means to land and culture means to cultivate so together we can say that agriculture is to cultivate the land let me tell you our major part of economy depends on agriculture and on our farmers to feed so now i already use a term in agriculture that cultivating crops is called agriculture so what is crop crop are the plants that are grown on a large scale for food or other purposes different crops need different climatic and soil conditions the temperature and the amount of light vary according to the time of the day and the season of the year that's why you seen that some crops are grown in winter season and some crops are grown in summer season because they need different different climatic conditions to grow that's why crops are divided into two categories these are rabi crops that are grown in winter season it means from november to april harvested in april to in middle of in starting of may and kharif crops kharif crops are the crops which are grown in summer season it is starting grown from june to october harvested nearly october no let me show you some examples of crops that are comes under rabi and kharif crops rabi crops i have some pictures for you wheat you all are aware about it oats chickpea mustard almonds broccoli these and many more other comes under rabi crops that are grown in winter season the next one is kharif crops kharif crops rice corn soya bean sugar cane ground nut and cotton these are the crops that are grown in summer season now come to the one more most important question is that why do farmers add manure and fertilizer to the soil you seen that before growing something in the field or in the soil farmers add some manure and fertilizer to the soil why they do so actually what happened when crops are grown in field air by air or air after air the soil become poor why because all the nutrients are used up by the crops i already explained you in the previous topic that plants gets its all nutrients from the soil so that's why if we will continuously grow one crop and then another crop then all the nutrients will get used up that's why before adding the next crop before growing the next crop we need to add some manure and nutrient to the soil but in a right amount 
to improve the quality of soil and to refill the minerals in the soil that are already exhausted. Now, let me show you the picture of manure. I think you all are aware about it and you have seen these type of manure in your nearby fields. You can also easily make these, these type of manure at home also. Like by using some, it means waste of vegetables, waste of some fruits, some uh, leaves. You can make manure easily. But manures are natural fertilizer which is produced from decomposition of dried leaves, dropping of animals and I already told you uh, from the peel out vegetables. These are also added to the field for improving the quality and enriching the millers in the soil. Because they are natural fertilizer, so they does not harm the animals living in the soil. Because you know that very well, the animals living in the soil are also necessary for our, for our field to improve its fertility. What are fertilizers? Fertilizers are chemical substance supplied to the crops to increase their productivity. The fertilizer contains the essential nutrients required by plant including nitrogen, potassium, phosphorus, etc. Some widely used chemical fertilizer are ammonium sulfate and superphosphate and nitrate. But it is necessary to understand excessive use of these fertilizer can harm the animals are living in soil and can harm the other animals can destroy the fertility also if it will be used in excess. So that's why fertilizer should be used in a right amount because they are chemically made. Now ways to improve the productivity of crops. The main important ways by which we can improve the productivity of our crops. The first one, plug the field to make the soil loose and airy. If soil is loose and airy, then air can be easily mixed into the soil and get by a plant for its survival. Also add right kind and right amount of fertilizer. I already told you in fertilizer topic that it should be in right amount. Then only your productivity of crop will increase or be in good amount. Next is use healthy and good variety of seed. It is also important your seed should also be of good and healthy variety. Water the field with the right amount of water. It means every plants have different different needs and amount of water required for each plant is different. That's why here one point is there that right amount of water needed by plant should be watered. Thank you. Stay home. Stay safe. Keep doing your work. I will continue with my next video with chapter 2nd.